Hi everyone, this is Merly and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to build a raised garden bed using a Dollar Tree garden edger. I am building a 4x8 raised bed, so I'm gonna need three of this Dollar Tree um, garden edger and then I'm gonna need six pieces of milk jugs. Um, I have cleaned this up and then I have cut the bottom of the milk jug. Aside from the garden edger and the milk jugs, you will also need a shovel, um, a rake to rake the leaves or the, the grass. Um, you're gonna need a tape measure um, if you have a specific size of a raised bed that you want to make. In my case, I am building a 4x8 and um, I have built that rectangle already. I have measured it um, and then I put some sticks in the corner of the rectangle so I know where to put the corners of my raised bed. Now, what you need to do is to um, to make a couple of slits on one side of the milk jug and that's where you will put the garden edger so your milk jug will hold this garden edger in every corner and then for the longest side of the raised bed I am putting a milk jug in the middle for support this is a close-up of the side of the milk jug where I put the slits so I basically just used a um, cutter started with a cutter and then i finished that cut with a pair of scissors so you can see there's a line i used a sharpie to make a decent line right here um, and then i have one in here and then you just what you have to do is to just slide so yeah remove that one so these are the two slits and then you just have to slide the garden edger into one side and then it comes out of the other side before i install my garden edger i'm going to clean this area as you can see there are some grass growing that's the section that were scratched by my chickens over the winter and so um, there's no um, there's not much dry leaves covering the surface and that's why i have a bunch of grass on there but this other side here is, um, is looking good because um, the chickens did not touch that side and as you can see it's full of dry leaves <laughs> I have removed most of the dry leaves on this spot um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is to remove the weeds there are only a few so th this will be quick I'll just use a shovel to clean this up now that this area is already clean I am ready to put the milk jugs in the ground and lay out my garden edger we're here in the first corner of the raised bed and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bury part of the milk jug it's gonna go up to here so this whole portion in here will be buried in the dirt now that we have positioned the milk jug in one corner we're going to backfill the hole around it with the dirt and then on the inside you can put some dirt or you can put some potting mix what i did in here is i put some of the garden soil inside this milk jug um, there are some earthworms inside as well so that would be good and you can also use this milk jug to plant a smaller plant maybe you can put some herbs in here i'm thinking of putting a lettuce in each of the milk jug so I'll just continue uh, putting some dirt around this milk jug and then after that we're going to move on to the next milk jug and then the corner on the other side. 
I have two pieces of garden edger on the ground right now and four milk jugs. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to set up the next corner. And then once that corner is set up, I'm going to go back here in the middle of this longer side and set up the milk jug in the ground. All right, guys, the second milk jug is in position and then we're gonna put some dirt around it and then we'll put a little bit of dirt inside it and then pop it with some compost. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partially connect the end of the garden edger onto this um, milk jug. And so you can do that by also sliding the end of that edger into the slit that you've made on the side of the milk jug. Okay. All right. So I'm not gonna lock this in because I still have to put the middle milk jug in place. So this one's gonna go right here. Okay, I just dig a little hole in the ground and then stick that milk jug in the ground. So, so far, this is what we have. As you can see, we have set up one side of the raised bed. That one in there is the corner and then the other one on the far end is the other corner that's the longer side if you want you can put a couple more milk jugs between these three milk jugs right here on this side to make it more sturdy but i think i'll just put some sticks that i pick up from my yard in order to reinforce that side so now i'm gonna work on the shorter side of the raised bed digging a hole here in the next corner it's still windy in here so i can't put my phone in the tripod i tried but the tripod was blown away by the wind that's how strong the wind is right now this bed is taking shape so i have to put one more milk jug in that corner and then one on that side and then we should be able to complete and we can see the outline of our garden raised bed to add the last strand of the garden edger i'm going to slide that garden edger here on this side um, this is the this was the first milk jug that i put in the ground so i'm just attaching this edger to the last milk uh to the last milk jug over there okay so that and then we're going to put this milk jug in place just a little bit more and we're done so we have this milk jug right here and then i'm fixing to put the last one in the middle of the longer side and then we will connect everything together. This is the outline of our garden raised bed. So it's not yet done. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix the sides. I will reinforce the sides with some sticks that I found in my yard. One thing that you can do also is you can put more milk jugs on the side because you can plant in them anyway. So uh, you're not going to lose any space by adding those milk jugs in there. You know, you can put some lettuces, you can put some herbs, um, you can put some small vegetables inside the milk jugs. And so uh, this is an example of a stick that I put in here. So I'm going to go get some more and put them around the raised bed. So I have been putting some sticks on the side. So you can see I have a few sticks on this side now. And then I also put a stick in the middle of the milk jug. So this one goes all the way down in the ground to hold 
the milk jug in place so this is not gonna move anymore and I will just add some more dirt in the milk jug this is one side of my raised bed as you can see I have some sticks so I put sticks on the outside and then in between these two sticks I'm gonna put one on the inside so this is gonna make the sides really sturdy so it will be able to hold on to the dirt that I'm gonna put inside this bed this is what I have done so far that side is looking good already so I am working on this end where the sticks are still far apart and I'm just working on putting some sticks in between the ones that I've already put in here and then you just hammer this down so you see the point right here put stick this on here and then hammer it in and then you add another one and put it right here until you are done adding all of the sticks wondering why I'm not using a hammer I forgot to bring my hammer out and I don't want to go back to my house because if I go back inside my house I will find something else to do and I won't be able to come back out here to finish this race bed now with some of the sticks you can just push them in the ground you don't really have to hammer them in but if the ground is a little bit tough, okay, just hit it a couple of times with your hammer or whatever you have. Now let's add some more sticks right here. It does not have to be perfect. The point here is you just want the sticks on the side to hold on to the garden edger so it will not move around when you put them when you put your compost or your garden soil inside the bed i'm going to reinforce this side some more because the sticks are a little bit far apart so i'm just adding a couple of sticks between the ones that i have already installed This one goes right here. Got some more sticks. Put them here. I am showing you now the shorter side of the raised bed so here you see that milk jug I put a stick in the middle and I uh, hammered that stick all the way into the dirt so that's a long stick right there so it should hold this jug in place and then I put some native soil and then on top I'm gonna put some potting soil um, maybe some compost let's go with compost and then this one the same thing right here I'm gonna put some compost in this milk jug and I'll put some lettuce 
um, I have some smaller variety of marigold so I will probably throw in some marigold in a couple of those jugs just for fun and then this one right here is the longer side so you can see this milk jug in the middle of the two corner jugs right there so that one and then you see all these sticks that I put there are sticks on the outer part of the garden edger and then sticks on the inside so as you can see you will have to alternate the sticks so you have one on the outside one on the inside out in out in out in and then if you feel like you want to add some more I mean you can add one right here one on the inside just it's all up to you okay so let's go to this side right here okay so this is the other shorter side of the bed see that one that actually does not look bad um, one thing I was thinking about is that maybe if you want a 3 by 6 or a 3 by 8 that's probably a little bit easier to do because this one is a 4 by 8 that is the same size as my other raised beds that we made last year so going back to this project um, the bed is not yet filled with soil and so in my next video I'm gonna show you how to fill this raised bed for free of course the idea of this video is to help people out there who want to garden in a raised bed but do not have the budget to do it for sure you will need a lot of time to do this but if you think about it the only thing that I bought to create this raised bed were the garden edgers I got three garden edger for a 4x8 raised bed so that's a dollar 25 times three not very good with math but I think it's three dollars and 75 cents plus tax so for less than five dollars you can make a, you can make a four by eight raised bed how cool is that if you learned something from this video don't forget to cultivate that like button so we can reach those people who need video tutorials of projects like this in my next video, I will show you how to fill this raised bed for free. That's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.